so listen. They have Ariana Davis. That is one of the accusers of Lizzo in the lawsuit. Lizzo's lawyers, they provided this to TMZ, trying to expose the chick, saying, listen, you want to follow in Lizzo's footsteps, and now you're saying this. Got to make it make sense. Got to make it make sense. I'm doing as I do for everyone and providing both perspectives so people can come to their conclusion. My point in doing this is this is what I want all outlets to do when they're covering someone going through situations like this. Not just women, but men too. The same as I'm doing for Jonathan Majors, I'm doing for Lizzo. I'm going to keep it honest. But with everyone else, we gonna see. So let's see what this lady gotta say. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and please help me on the algorithm by making sure that you engage with the video. A like goes far, but a comment goes even further. So let me know what you think about this lady. Is she capping about how she felt about being fat shamed and stuff? This one I was fat shamed. Is she capping or not? Let's see what she gotta say. <laughs> Hi, what's up? It's Ariana Davis from season one of Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls. I know you're probably thinking, why is she here? What is she doing auditioning for season two? The short answer is I'm a singer <laughs> and I just want to share that part of me with y'all. I know I've been on tour. I've been working with Lizzo for, for uh, some months, maybe close to a year now. And um, it's been so amazing and such a beautiful journey and she's probably gonna be like girl what are you doing but anyway i figured though i might as well shoot my shot i mean i don't think she knows that i can sing and the biggest thing about me is that i always say this but dance is my first love and music is my passion and if i was to be chosen for the cast of season two of watch out for the big girls i all right that's the first clip right there as of now I'm going to tell y'all what I think after the second clip. <laughs> I don't know. I just think that it would mean the world to me to share my voice. I think my voice has gone quiet for too long. And I think that I have a story that people need to hear because I think they can relate to it. And I think it can help change lives and, you know, do what Lizzo's doing. I I look up to her so much and... I just want to follow in her footsteps and not only be an amazing dancer, but be an amazing singer and storyteller. I love to write music. I love to sing. And I just want to share that with the Queen Lizzo herself. Yeah. Um, choose me to be part of the singing group. I know I'm already a dancer, but I can sing too. So I'm going to keep it G. I'm going to keep really honest with y'all. This don't change my line of thinking at all. Like, if we think Lizzo has the ability to be phony, then um, I think she has the ability to be phony as well. Especially when it comes for the opportunity for fame, money, attention. People will lie and fake the funk all the damn time. And then if you have an end to the industry that you feel like you have a direct route there, you're going to try to exploit that as much as you can. Take advantage of, it, advantage of it as much as you can. So it doesn't surprise me that she's saying all these things at all. So if you didn't catch on it, she's trying to audition for... Lizzo's so watch out for the big girls too or whatever. She's trying to audition for it. So of course she gotta suck up to Lizzo or whatever do with whoop. Now if she's doing this knowing that um fans may possibly see this clip right here. Even if she's speaking about Lizzo in a positive manner, but don't truly believe that she's speaking on Lizzo as far as the representation that she has built, the way that the world sees Lizzo the brand. That's what she's speaking on as far as what she wants to represent in the industry as an artist. She sees that as a lane for her, so of course she wants to tackle that. That doesn't mean she's not phony though. That doesn't mean she's capping about the lawsuit. But I would say that I really, really do believe that at some point when she realized things ain't work out, that's when you can go ahead and realize, okay, I'm probably not gonna get no other jobs in the industry because due to my body type not really being preferred, in the dance industry, I may not catch another big break, so let me go ahead and see what I can get and bring up all the bad things that happened to me or that I could portray that happened to me. It wasn't the best situation, the optimal situ situation for me. But that's that right there. Not once is a mother shit. Y'all know Lizzo got a boyfriend and everything. She popped out with him last year. Now, this lady right here is accusing Lizzo of stealing a boyfriend, and she says she treated her bad. She's a horrible person. Let's see what she got to say, then I'm going to tell you what I think about this part right here. I first met Lizzo late 2016, 2017-ish. She and my boyfriend were co-hosting a show on MTV called Wonderland. And no, she wasn't very nice. She wasn't very nice to me. I knew she didn't like me, but the people around her were nice. Like her sister seemed nice. And I kind of ignored it because I felt like 
well, you know, she's already like in this celebrity scene or whatever. So she probably just feels like she has better things to do than talk to me. And I just noticed that like, even when we were just out to eat or at the beach or something, she still wasn't very nice to me. And it wasn't like a, a production thing. Like, oh, she's just really busy or whatever. She just didn't like me. She didn't say anything that was mean, but she was really like standoffish or like wouldn't talk to me. You know, like when I talked to her, it was kind of like, oh, okay, like get the fuck away from me. I don't want to talk to you. So yeah, I eventually found out that she and my boyfriend has something going on, ex-boyfriend. <laughs> and um, that was that. I left the relationship. I mean, yeah, it was it was heartbreaking. I mean, I was with him for 10 years. I supported him through everything. And um, when he finally got a big break, he left me for Lizzo. <laughs> it was really hard for my mental health. I, I went through a really difficult period of time trying to be okay with this because it wasn't just like, oh, I broke up with my boyfriend. It was like, oh, I broke up with my boyfriend and he left me for a person who wasn't very nice to me and turned out to be like after the fact, after we broke up, she became a Grammy award winning celebrity and everybody in the world loves her and her message is like love and light and positivity after knowing how she treated me but i wasn't able to i didn't want to say anything because it made me sound like a whiny little baby or something so i didn't i didn't broadcast that that was something that happened to me or i when i did talk about it i never named her because i just didn't feel like I would be supported or people would care you know like people loved her so why would i why would i try to like drag her name or whatever so i just silently went through something really big and really hard it was like my fight or flight response was triggered every time i heard her song on the radio or like if i went to the movies and like her song was in the trailer it was so difficult and i cried for so long and i felt so depressed and like I was in a really bad spot for years because of how this happened and I know it wasn't her fault it wasn't her fault it was his fault it was the way he handled it she has no responsibility to me but I think they could have both been a little more kind in the way that they chose to um to get together you know like he could have broken up with me or she could have maybe suggested that he break up with me before they started something because the text messages were something that i'll never be able to not see in my head i think i'm feeling emotional right now because this is the first time i've ever been able to freely speak on it and feel like people will hear what i'm saying and not just like come at me for saying something about somebody that they really like and it feels like this validation <laughs> and I, I try to be a good person you know i try to let things go forgive you know just move on but some things just stick with you until until it gets lifted off of your spirit and i feel like this is a moment where it's gotten lifted off of my spirit that she's not everything that she's been saying she is and i've known that for a long time but i've tried to i tried to let it go but now that is coming to light who she really is and how she really operates it's just like vindication it's like what I went through was real and I don't have to be quiet about it anymore. I don't have to be embarrassed about it anymore. It's true. It's true. I've seen it. It's real. And now I can like put these feelings aside and just like really move on. All right. So y'all heard what the lady got to say, but uh, I'm going to tell you this right here, lady. She was never not nice to you. She just didn't interact with you because she wanted your damn man. <laughs> she didn't want no relationship with you because she wanted your dude she found him attractive and she probably seen him before she seen you and you he, he just had to bring you along because you was a chick at that point in time but her her knowing that she wants him she didn't want to foster any relationship with you so it wouldn't be off out of bounds for her to eventually talk to him so yeah she stole your man but you didn't display or showcase any time that she was actually mean to you that she actually did something to you other than just take your dude and she unfortunately she has the ability to do that <laughs> sorry for you man um but this is just a tag on thing me too that you just get tossed to the side what i'm not gonna do on my channel even though i know a lot of people do not like lizzo i'm not gonna sacrifice my integrity just to go ahead and just pile on with shit like this i'm gonna say it like it is but hey you presented your situation to the forefront for us to speak on and that's my thoughts she never wanted to be cool with you because she wanted your man
it is what it is. Now, one more thing that that um the former documentary director doubled down on the claim, saying that Lizzo is unkind, arrogant, she's a narcissistic bully, and has built her brand off of lies. Um, I feel like I'm defending Lizzo a lot in this video. I mean, I don't care to defend her or not defend her, but I don't know. So we read this already the last time. That's when she breaking everything down, but um. Uh, this is what she said on top of everything. She says, to be clear, since I've spoken up, I've had others privately share their very similar experiences and I have also been affirmed by people who witnessed what I went through. Lizzo creates an extremely toxic and hostile work environment and undermines the work, labor, and authority of other black and brown women in the process. Notice how the documentary ended up being directed at, by a cis white man, okay? Um, she is narcissistic, built, um, bully, and has built her brand off of lies. I was decided to support and protect the black women through the documentary process, but quickly learned her image and the message was a curated facade. I stand with the dancers and anyone who has had similar experiences working with her and her team. These working conditions are not okay. Now, the reason why I even want to present this situation because I wanted to come and say to you guys that think like her, aha. Ah fucking ha. That's what y'all ass get because y'all get on these social media apps. And you guys build up this agenda, come up with these damn buzzwords and these terms, and then people just study y'all ass. They study y'all ass and be like, okay, this is what I got to do. This is what I got to do. And they come and just blurt them shits out. Whenever they come in, go, go through some shit, they blurt some shits out to get you guys to come and support them. And they build up a facade. Yes, they fabricate a facade to go ahead and trick y'all ass into supporting them and y'all become fans. And when the truth comes out and they really reveal themselves, no, they're not robotic people that operates like you guys. Very little people subscribe to what y'all subscribe to in real life. This shit is for the birds. It's only online to get retweets, post tweets, all that stuff, likes them. That's all it's for. You see this type of person, this person, this cis white man, black women, they thought Lizzo was going to be someone that's super left leaning. Every time I say some shit like that, I got to let y'all know I'm not I'm not into politics. I'm not a right. I, I'm just a neutral person that just observes the culture. But they thought Lizzo was a super left leaning person. Whatever. She's just a fat woman that's very, very good at what she does. And she realized, oh, since I'm fat and I'm do what I do, I'm going to get support for doing what I do. Shoot, let me go ahead and lean into the support. She leaned into it, but she's still a human, probably has some bad traits. You guys are seeing the bad traits that she may have, but you guys expect people to be perfect. They're not perfect. They're not perfect. So you guys should look at this and remember for people that don't agree with every single thing, that don't pander to all y'all talking points and shit, when they go through things, at least they wasn't trying to fake the funk for y'all ass. At least they was just being G and keeping it real, being real people, not these internet created characters that you guys want everybody to be. At least that's the point. At least that. Now, when it comes to everything else, when it comes to the Lizzo situation, I do believe once again that when it comes to the sexual harassment stuff, that was out of bounds. If she truly did take her employees without their knowledge that they were going to these shows where there was a lot of hanky panky going on, you know, I'm trying to keep it clean as possible for the algorithm, a lot of nasty stuff going on. And they didn't know and she was encouraging them to do things and they felt pressured. You can't do that. It's best that you don't do that. So you don't blur the lines in a situation where you're an employer dealing with your employees. Avoid it. It's not good because this can happen. That's the only thing in this, all this shit that has any merit. That's the only thing that I think that she could be hurt by when it comes to this lawsuit because she also has uh some talking points recently what she spoke about that before um that just went viral so i showed you guys in my last video she talked about going to the banana bar and doing nasty things with the bananas out of people's private parts all right so that's that right there that's the only thing that i really see that can, that can maintain what it is what it is other than that dog entertainment industry should even worse the sports world if these people are upset by this type of shit right here, then you can only imagine how many damn lawsuits could be filed in the sports world <laughs> or other places in the entertainment industry. Status quo type shit, man. But y'all gotta let me know what y'all think in the comment section below, man. I, I had to go ahead and just speak my piece because this is bullshit. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm going to get up out of here, Doja Boy Stacey, and I fuck with you the reason why, because you, you fucks with me, man. 60K, we on the way. Smash like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Like.
engage, comment, tell me what you think. Was I wrong? Was I out of pocket with what I was saying? Was I out of pocket? Tell me. I could take it. I don't mind not being perfect. Unlike these folks over here, man. I'm out.